So a friend had watched my videos and he asked, what is SWR? You keep referring to it. So I did a face palm and then I realized that uh, I haven't been explaining what SWR is, but I've been referring to it a lot. So here's the simple explanation, hopefully. Uh, you can find the, a PDF of this slideshow at my new website, pradiofun.com. So first off, the SWR is standing wave ratio. It's also called voltage standing wave ratio. And it's calculation uh, based on the voltage going forward in the system and the voltage that's reflected back in the system. Now don't worry about this formula. You won't have to do it. Just know that there, there's division in here. So that's what makes it a ratio. So here's what actually is happening. So we have a radio down there at the bottom and the green arrow represents the transmitting power, in this case 50 watts, out of the radio. It's going through the antenna or through the coax and then into the antenna. And some of that power gets reflected back. This is the smaller red arrow. So it's coming back and at the radio there's 0.85 watts reflected back into the radio. So this is an example of a 1.3 to 1 SWR. And in SWR, it really matters what the radio sees. So you want to take the reading as close to the radio as possible, because too high of an SWR can damage the radio. All right, so I talked about wattage, power, but the earlier formula talked about voltage. Well, voltage relates to power, so this is the formula for that. Again, you'll never have to do this formula. It just shows you the relationship. It's a ratio. All right, so let's look at a meter that's used to show us the standing wave ratio. Uh, so we're gonna be at the top. So you can say it in either way. So 1.5 to 1 is the same thing as saying a 1 to 1 1.5. It means the same thing. Uh, so SWR of 1 to 1 has no reflected power. Okay, so the picture is a cross needle SWR and power meter. So the red lines that you see on the meter are the SWR. The black items on the meter are the power. So on the left side, you see an arc that says forward. And on the right side, it says reflected. Uh, when you use a separate meter, you'll need a little coax jumper to go from the radio to the meter. And then on the back of the meter, it tells you transmitter and antenna, and then you'll plug the antenna into the proper port. Some radios actually have these meters on them. So let's look at an example of how this meter works. So we're gonna talk about the SWR and the tuning of the antenna to the resonant frequency to lower the SWR. So in this example, we have a 15 watt radio. So 15 watts of power coming out the back of the radio. We have this meter that can be set to 300 watt, zero to 300 watts or zero to 30 watt scale. So since 15 watts is less than 30, we're gonna press the button so that we're set at the 30 watt scale. So what that means is uh, all forward and reflected numbers are, that you see are divided by 10. So we see the top scale on the forward is 300. That would, that would become 30.0. So you just throw a decimal point in there. So if we're at a scale of 30 and we have a 15 watt radio, where do you think the uh, 15 watt tick mark is? 
okay so we're between 10 and 20 and in the middle of that is 15. so when we key up the radio both needles are going to move but we're just going to look at the forward needle first and it comes up and goes to 15 watts now we're going to do our first test on this antenna system and we key up and our purple needle there goes up to not 20 it's 2.0 because the scale we're on so it's about 1.8 watts of reflected power and what we do is we look where the needles the two needles cross and then look at the red lines so we're just above the red line that has the number two so our SWR is about 2.1 that's way too high so we want to make this better so what we do is we tune the antenna and then we're going to run it again see what we look like so we do our second test and our reflected power has come way down so if you look at that you're two and a half tick marks up from zero and it's the first number you see after zero is five but remember you got to divide by 10 so it's actually 0.5 of a watt so this reflected power is at 0.25 watts and we look where the needles cross and we're just a hair above an SWR of 1.3 so this is a very good SWR you want to keep it below 1.5 so let's talk about what that means so we're going to look at the SWR and how it relates to the power loss out of the antenna so we've got a SWR reading and we're going to look at the percent of loss and then the percent of full ERP so I'll explain that after I show the first reading so a reading of 1.0 to 1 is a 0% loss like we talked about before so you have a 100% or in the previous example you'd have all 15 watts of power effectively radiated power ERP out of the antenna so then we might get a 1.1 to 1 SWR <clears throat> Well, that has a loss of 0.2 percent so you subtract 0.2 percent from 100 and you get a 99.8 percent of the power coming out of the radio is getting out of the antenna okay let's look what happens if we just go up an extra decimal point so now we're at 1.2 you kind of expect that to be 0.4 because you just add it together well that's not the way this works it increases as you get higher so the loss here is 0.8 okay almost one percent and then we're going to show the rest all the way to 1.5 so 1.5 to 1 SWR you're losing four percent of your power out of the antenna so in other words 96 percent of the power is getting out all right so here I've charted those numbers and I've gone farther than 1.5 I've gone all the way to 2.0 SWR and you'll notice at 1.5 we're at 4.4 percent and at 2.0 SWR we're at 11 percent so if that was 12 that would be three times as much power loss so it's a lot bigger jump the higher up you get so what does that mean so anything 1.5 or less is good anything 1.5 or higher can be bad for the radio uh, a lot of modern radios instead of damaging the finals in the radio uh, the radio will automatically reduce the power output to keep it from damaging the radio but you get a 
radio that's putting out very little power even if you've got it turned up to 100 watt it might drop it down to five or less all right hope that was understandable